One small monkey, a lot of bloons, and a dream. Basically, we gotta survive for 60 rounds, and the bloons are gonna come from all sides. And each and every upgrade really is have to gonna be earned today, so we need to be strategic and yeah. smart. Basically, that's my way of saying we're doomed. I am gonna buy quick shots right away, just so we can pop things faster. I will upgrade the dart monkey for a while until we change it to something better, but for now, I need this one. Plus, we can sell the upgrades, and it would be nice to get $1,250 for a banana tree, but that is asking quite a lot. The bloons drew first blood, I accidentally popped one. You gotta watch out. Out. given the opportunity they will try and pop you wave three so far so good it's just red balloons no problem we are getting some blues coming in they are a little bit quicker and a little bit deceptive the blues aren't quite as smart as me but they're about halfway there and curiously they kind of blend into the uh, ocean in the background which now I realize it rises up kind of high. Definitely gonna have to stay careful to stay well ahead of the balloons today. I'm just gonna buy sharp shots straight away because with these, yeah, we should be able to just take care of the balloons a little bit quicker and then move on to bigger money things. And this definitely helps because we can pop through the layers of balloons because they can tend to kind of come at us in a big straight line if we line them up and then we can pop multiples including blues. I can already see how today's gonna get really stressful with this. Yay, blood pressure. What I would love is to be able to afford the super monkey but we need $2,500 just to get started. So for now I'm just simply popping balloons and trying to survive. And full disclosure, this is on medium difficulty, which is the second easiest. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy, but I'm not sure if it's going to be hard. I don't know how quickly things scale up. I know if you put on double money, the game gets stupidly easy. We're on to wave 7 now, and a few of the greens are sprinkled in there as well, and I need to watch out for them because they will sneak up on me very quickly. But at the end of wave 7, we're that much closer to my beloved banana farm. <laughs> wave 9 is a lot of greens. The popping is getting a little bit tedious, but I'm going to uh, stretch it out because I really want that banana farm farm. This means it takes an extra second to get through these waves, especially when I need to uh, constantly move away. Okay, wave 10 is beginning. This wave we will buy a banana tree. We're basically already there. And okay, we're gonna go ahead and buy this before I forget. Now at the end of the round we get extra money, so now we can finally start to buy some better upgrades. Uh, attack shooter comes to mind right now. I think that's gonna make this a little bit easier to thin these out. Because there's just a lot of them. They're not a problem to destroy, it just takes so damn long. But I got them to group up in a nice little pool, so now I just circle around them, constantly throwing darts through them, and eventually they'll die. Okay, this really is getting annoying. This is taking so long. But we got our first bananas that take us from 300 to 500, so it's an extra $200 every round. So I'm going to go ahead and buy triple shot at this point. That's just going to help us clean these out much quicker. Especially if I get them to uh, circle up. As long as I'm throwing on the right plane of blue in existence, I'll be hitting lots of them. And we're starting to get some yellow. And that's actually a good thing right now. That means the wave will end that much quicker because they're not going to throw too many yellows at me yet. They can if they want to. I'll take them out. But it's going to be a short wave. That means I just enjoy my banana bonus that much sooner. I didn't realize this was only $500 to upgrade. So at the end of this wave, I'm probably going to do just that because it's already making me $200 per round. If it goes up any higher, well, that starts to get pretty good pretty quickly. Easy little wave. $500 well spent. It's only $600 for the next upgrade again. Really, that's the center to all of my strategy always. Money usually is because money buys damage. And damage leads to good things. Okay, these definitely snuck up behind me, so I'm getting a little overconfident already. I also need a tax shooter to help thin these out because they fire on all sides. If I had a tax shooter right about there, that would just help me so much. Triple darts is really nice for this stage though because look at everything I can pop in one throw. <laughs> just imagine what we're going to get up to. Maybe a triple super monkey. So 661 all the way up to 961 that's 300 dollars per go now that's going to be more 400 dollars maybe the waves are still pretty easy uh given that i do have the triple darts without that it would be kind of hard but i'm glad i got the banana too when i did because now things can start to escalate wildly so uh, this gives me 400 dollars every round and i spent 800 dollars on my first tax shooter that's just going to hang out somewhat over there for now i'll eventually kite the balloons around that but that's going to help thin out all the balloons that way i have to do less popping and we can get this done all the sooner and we're starting to get some of the pink balloons in so i think when that happens i'm going to circle around to this side uh, oh those are actually pretty cool Quick. And then the closer they are to all that, the more the attack shooter is going to work. It's going to be less focused because we're in an open environment. I need to kite the balloons onto the attack shooter, but you can see it's going to make a really big difference. So maybe at the beginning I should stand in the middle and just have the balloons all make their way somewhat toward the attack shooter. Would that make sense? I'm not really sure. I don't love that because I really don't like putting balloons at my back because they often sneak up on me and then they hurt me. But ones like this are okay because I can just wander to this side and pull them all straight into the tech shooter while thinning them out myself also. And another gentle little wave easily defeated. Okay, we're getting regen balloons already. Uh, This is going to be a little bit more difficult, but not too bad, especially if we utilize our tech shooter. And this is also basically an advertisement wave to say, these are hearts. They're annoying to kill, but not that bad. I will buy some upgrades to deal with them soon but now we're up to $2100. No more hearts yet. 
which is kind of sad. Lots of green balloons coming in. They aren't too quick, so that's just fine by me. We'll pull them all the way over to our attack shooter, which is still basic, but still doing work. So we can basically just sit here, and they do have to funnel somewhat around it. Maybe they can go straight through it. Either way, they're pretty doomed by doing that. Really, I should just get them here and then circle around them so they always stick to the attack shooter. So after round 18, we have over $2,500, which means I can sell my current class to buy hopefully a better class like Super Monkey. And I still have $800 to spare, so let's get camo detection. Okay, Super Monkey is, wow, absolutely ridiculous. Well, we're rapid firing in one particular shot anyway, so that'll take out whatever we're pointing at. This seems overpowered now, and it just might be, but I can only fire like one row at a time, so the balloons will come at me from all sides especially considering how early on we are so that's not going to get any easier as time goes on okay here come more yellows if i'm firing right down the line of balloons yeah i probably win but they come from all sides and i'm gonna have to keep an eye on them and we're gonna have to have some more support items too because they're gonna get close i think we're gonna need to upgrade the tack shooter a little bit because i need it firing quicker we can take care of these now that they're all in a nice even row even then not really they're actually still getting to me i went to buy an upgrade and accidentally started the next wave so we'll just kind of deal with this i guess so far so good the whites have the same problem as sort of the blues did they're a little bit hard to see against the horizon so they tend to sneak up on me and then suddenly i have a rather large balloon in my face okay let's fix up this tack shooter a little bit uh more tacks and faster shooting that looks a little better now where's my balloons still don't know if i want to stand in the middle to start because it just puts me in a really dangerous spot but the tech shooter, yeah, is doing much better now. Dead ends, wave 23. Wave 24 has, I don't know what, more of the same. It seems suspiciously weak so far. I'm not sure what it's hiding from me. Were those camos? Yeah, they might have been camos, and that's why it seems kind of easy. There's more good old-fashioned bananas. And we're back to some regens. Uh, I don't think regens are going to be much of a problem for us, because our damage is just really going to overpower- what? Oh. Didn't realize there was more coming out. See, they get behind me. As I was saying, regens aren't too bad because basically once I get my uh, cursor on them, they pop into oblivion anyway because I fire so quickly. This is kind of like the minigun, but like the minigun on steroids. I think we should upgrade the tax sprayer some more because I really think that's going to help with kind of area effect and it's already getting much bigger. I probably should also buy the plane at some point too, but I'm not exactly rich these days, so I need to be careful what I buy and where. I do think the uh, plane will help thin the numbers out a lot, but the tax shooter also does that. I keep walking into blooms. But it's over the tack shooter really is doing a lot. Since it's giving me mostly red so far, I'm just going to sit right here to see if the tack shooter can carry the load so far. Uh, It's helping them thinning them out, but it won't get them all. And the balloons are getting pretty quick, so let's just kite them around. We're going to bring them back to the tack shooter and let it carry some of the load. There we go. Yeah, it's doing actually quite a bit. It won't get them all, but it really thins them out. Then I can finish it off with the super monkey. I accidentally bought the plane again, so now we have a plane helping us. That's definitely not going to hurt anything. I'm a little confused as to where there's, why there's no balloons here. But the plane should just randomly like send a volley down on balloons once in a while which like that will help definitely thin them out so let's take on the next wave and that might actually save me a few hits here and there because there's usually balloons sneaking up behind me and if they'll get deaded before i even look at them all the better and here we go and just having that tax spray somewhere in the middle of the island probably just helps to a great degree too at the end of round 29 we've got 2500 dollars so let's go ahead and upgrade to laser vision which just kind of looks like this but i think it's basically double the power which is good because yeah we're getting a little bit stronger balloon so that was actually incredibly good timing because these guys would have been hard to fake our darts even now they take a few hits which is troubling because if we get too many of those we're going to be in trouble i'm not sure if the tack shooter is going to do much damage to those i probably shouldn't have started that wave without picking up my bananas first uh that was alarming i turned around and all oh, that was right there in my face we're going to turn around and let the tack shooter do some work see how it's doing that's a good way just to assess it to see if we need to upgrade it or not uh the lasers for now actually can't even hold off the balloons yet so we're definitely gonna need some upgrades but we'll figure that out when the time comes for now i'm mostly just doing my very best to survive they are getting quick and they're getting small and hard to see and hit which is really getting annoying luckily we have double laser vision all right idiots get over here there we go. They're even a nice little lineup for me, so I can just shoot through them, sort of like that. Next wave, I think there's small camo balloons or just straight up camos, so that's not particularly hard for my super laser. Whoops considering I can see them. And since we have over $3,000, might as well buy that. So now we'll have even more money moving forward to spend on upgrades that we're still desperately going to need because this is not going to get any easier from here on out. Round 34. So those things are just spewing out balloons at this point. So I'm just going to try and keep moving until mostly they're done. And then I'm going to turn around and fire on them when I think I have them all on one side of me, which I think I do know. We're going to go ahead and pop that. In theory, we could just run around letting the plane slowly destroy them all, but it's a lot quicker to do this. And there's no guarantee that they won't hit me and kill me 
either. Very satisfying to do it this way though. Look at them all die. And this is going to take me from $1,335 all the way up to 21. So it's getting $800 per round, which seems really high. I just started a wave standing with my back to the pipe. So I definitely got hit once or twice there. Wow, look at all the balloons now. This is going to get chaotic. And it's very dangerous to walk backwards until all the balloons are spawned. Once they do, it's okay. But before that, don't turn your back on them. They're smarter than they look. All right, idiots, come towards my tax shooter. Let it destroy you. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer and closer, but we're still winning. $4,000 means I put the tax shooter into overdrive. I think that just means it shoots a little bit quicker. Uh, obviously it changed appearance too, but I'm pretty sure there's more than an aesthetic change going on there. Yeah, it's, you can hear it. It's absolutely popping many, many things. It's actually probably good enough to carry this on its own right now. I think it reaches a little further too, but whatever the case, that's going to be big help. Every time I'm getting overwhelmed, I come to the tax shooter. The struggle continues. All right, that's a lot of black balloons. We're going to run straight this way. Hopefully mostly take you out this wave, and then kind of circling around the tax shooter. Uh, we also have some ceramics or whatever too that are a little harder to pop. The tax shooter doesn't love of those but my lasers can take care of them they're also very slow and much more fun to pop so okay the plane finally did take out the ceramics and that took out the rest so far so good super monkey was obviously a good choice i mean super monkey is never a bad choice at this point at least it's more about balloon management keeping myself with the balloons in front of me not behind me and also kiting them through that thing yeah so far this thing is able to take out most of them except for kind of these even then it will do it it's just a little bit slower and we want quicker that's why i bought laser eyes but speaking of laser eyes let's buy plasma vision which looks like this which is obviously a high fire rate and i think a little more power again and i think there might be bigger projectiles so they hit like a wider area of balloons i'm not really sure it is melting these but that's only a single pipe's worth of balloons look at the gap down the middle i was gonna say why are there no balloons spawning over here they are but the tax shoot is destroying them all before they get to me so i'm definitely okay with that starting to make some really good money every round now too oh it's a uh, what, whatever it's called oh i guess it's wave 40 already well, let's bring it into the tax shooter to see what the tax shooter does to it. Mmm, it's pretty tough. It survived that whole thing. Okay, my laser eyes can destroy it, but yeah, if we get too many of those, that's going to be a problem. On to wave 41. So far, more of the same. Just lots of dangerous, dangerous balloons. But I'm going to be stupid and try and kite them into the center while trying not to get destroyed it myself. Lots of zebra balloons. Listen to the popping sound. It's so satisfying. It is a little scary, though, because they could kill me probably instantly. There's a lot of balloons out there, and they can hit me quick uh rainbow heart balloons coming in so they're gonna regenerate but again i don't think i need to worry about regeneration i'm probably killing mostly whatever i'm looking at this is what you get when you fire a million bullets per second which still is an invincibility but it's still pretty fun okay rainbow balloons coming in that one definitely almost hit me there's so many upgrades too maybe i should be playing on hard mode or extra hard mode that would probably make it a little more balanced and i probably need more of those upgrades as much as i'd like to say i'm just carrying this on skill i'm just picking the right upgrades probably and i was smart with my investment here whoops if it wasn't for that i'd probably be uh, struggling a little bit more but i got that early game money going because i was willing to sit through the sacrifice of slowly popping blooms all right tax shooter you take it from here my eyes need a break that thing is so strong and it's not even fully upgraded wave 45 it's been five since we saw the blimp thing i always forget what those are called we'll just call them big balloons because technically that's accurate i feel like this wave is going to be a lot of balloons just constantly spewing in so whoops ow 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 i don't know why i did that i was mostly just trying to get to the tax shooter to help it thin some of these out just because it's really annoying to have to hit all of these and the tax shooter just does such good aoe around it so as long as we're carrying the balloons through here we're winning because things are going to get harder let's try robo monkey fifteen thousand dollars which i think basically just doubled my damage output which is kind of stupid at this point but stupid in a good way okay whatever that was was actually really strong considering i'm spraying with this thing that's a little alarming. If we get too many of those, we still might be in trouble. But we'll find out soon. Regular balloons, I don't know if they're going to send much of a chance anymore. We could probably just spawn camp these for the most part. Well, no, no we cannot. It is nice having the tax shooter out there in the middle of the island because I basically always have a safe zone. I can just run straight down here and there's not going to be a lot of balloons to have to dodge. Wave 47 done. $6,000 for our name. We're going to keep going. Upgrades are too expensive anyway. I can't buy anything for six grand. Lots of rainbow balloons coming in, but I'm just going to sit here like, I wonder if I can just go like this. That makes me dizzy though. All right, well, we're going to do, keep doing our same strategy. Once we have a clear path through the center, we're going to run down it. We'll take care of the stragglers and the tax shooter takes care of pretty much everything else. Though there's so many balloons now, it's starting to struggle a little bit. Green balloons. Remember when we were popping green balloons and it took us like 10 minutes to do because we were so weak? Those days are over. Can I sit here near my tax shooter? Would this work? This might be a bad idea we can sit in the center of the island and just go like this i don't think this is a good idea nope the tax shooter can't kill them all by itself wow that's a lot of balloons okay okay we 
I'd have to take this a little bit more seriously again. That's a lot of balloons. That's also a lot of money conveniently too, so good. Uh, my next upgrade for my Super Monkey is $60,000. I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. So we'll have to make do with upgrades elsewhere for now. That's a lot of balloons everywhere. Okay, I can see how this is going to start to be a struggle. Uh, we got ceramics and two of these. Okay, those aren't so bad anymore with my double laser. We can pop them, but all the ceramics have come out of them. And these metal ones or whatever they are are also going to be a problem. So I'm going to hang out bravely near my tax shooter a whole lot for the next few rounds. And this will all work out probably. This is actually a nice uh, wave because it's lots of camos. Camos are weak. They're just hard to see. If you don't have camo detection, obviously we have it. So yeah, you guys come over here for a sec. Just go ahead and yeah, dive into that for a sec. I'm just going to sit here and take a breather. It still can't get them all. The tax don't pierce. That's what I'm realizing. It can pop a lot of them, but they don't pierce through a whole mob like that. But maybe if you spend $21,000 on the tax zone, that would help us. Yeah, I think this might be the key. What? What? Oh, it's a plane plot. Okay, that's a lot of blimps. All right, tax shooter, do your thing. I'm going to wait over here. You're going to get me a little lame. All right, so far, yeah, the tax shooter is going bananas. And so far, so good. Can it destroy those yet? It can. Wow. That thing's overpowered. It would be kind of funny to set that like right here beside a spawn point because it would completely destroy an entire spawn. But uh, it has more effect ow, overall over there where it's in the center of the island where it's easy to kite all sorts of balloons through it. A lot of them just naturally hit it because they're always passing through the center of the island. Yeah, this is actually, even with all these upgrades, this is not as easy as I thought it might be. And we've still got waves to go and they're not going to get any easier. Luckily, I do have this tax shooter and it's probably popping the majority of the balloons at this point. Like, that was absurd. Anything in its presence just gets absolutely obliterated. Ooh, that's a lot of ceramics. They blow up so big in such a big area too. They get right in your face because of that. But that tax shooter is just so insane. And then I have my dual monster lasers too. So we between the two of us will be okay. Wave 56, lots of balloons and camos. Uh, I think I was hearing something else that was taking a lot of bullets but not dying. No idea what that was, but it seems to be dead now. I kind of forgot I have the uh, plane up there in the sky, so we could probably buy lots more darts. Spectre is $28,000. Don't know if we're going to be able to afford that, but the plane should be doing a lot more damage. Which is just going to help bomb the balloons randomly and thin them out just a little more. That's a lot of big balloons. Double lasers though. We're okay. It is a pretty good effort though. Like I'm constantly firing my laser now to try and get through these. And here we go again. Okay, yep. They spawn so quickly that I need to give them a bit of space. We're going to run straight for this one, hopefully popping it, and then kite all the balloons behind me through the tax shooter, sort of. Yep, that works. Now we can take care of these and those and these. We are actually up to $26,000. This is wave 59. So we got one more after this, but this one's going to be a little bit hard. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. That attack shooter is insane by itself. Like it's taking up more of the balloons than we are. And these balloons are tough. Like we're having trouble destroying some of these. But when we sit here, we just sit back and relax and just hope there's no balloons behind us. That's so dumb. All right, we'll get the Spectre, the fully upgraded plane. That was $28,000, hopefully well spent. Okay, and it's firing at that big guy and it took him out already. So the Spectre is definitely worth its money. Wow. Wow, the fully upgraded things in this game are so overpowered. Like I haven't even had to fire my laser yet. I will for him. But yeah, for the most part, no, he's not that accurate though. Against smaller balloons, against big balloons. So he destroyed that thing. And um, just like that, fully upgraded things are overpowered.